investigating autobiographical memory, and that's the concept of your own memories about your own life um, and your personal experiences. And what we're, there's three parts of our research, of my research, and um, we are looking at gender differences um, in uh, between participants. We're also looking at um, this concept called meta memory, and it's your ability to know about your own memories. And um, we're also looking at whether or not a stimuli, if it's rated positive, negative, or neutral, um, has any effect on one's ability to um, recall a memory. Well, the participants see um, 24 pictures like the one behind me. Um, and when they see the picture on the screen, they either decide yes or no by pressing a key whether or not they can recall an autobiographical memory. And that's part one of the experiment. After part two of the experiment, they see those same pictures again and um, then have to answer questions based on these pictures. Some preliminary data analysis, it seems that there might be a trend in um, women being able to recall quicker and recall more um, when the pictures are either positive or negative. I'm a psychology, sociology, anthropology double major. Um, so this research has actually given me an opportunity to combine those two fields pretty well. It's kind of been able to mesh the two of uh, socialization and the personal um, individual psychological effect on the individual. I'm an experiential learner and so for me this is kind of been the perfect opportunity for me to learn um, how to go about doing research. Ultimately, I know that I want to conduct research on my own, um, and so I think it's given me the opportunity to learn from someone who does a lot of research and just kind of go through that experience process.